Hey there, this is Noah Tobias on the campus of Huntington University. You're listening to Rooted. Make sure you subscribe to Rooted on iTunes or Google Play. You can also find us by searching Forster Radio Rooted. And you can also catch Rooted every Thursday evening at 7 on 105.5 WQHU. Uh, and today, I have the privilege of sitting down uh, with Miss CC Archbold. CC, how are you doing today? I am good. How are you? Not too bad. Uh, so, Cece, you are a freshman here, and uh, you know I've known you for a couple of years just because we went to the same high school, um, but just tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Well, I am Cecilia Archbold, and I, in high school, I played basketball and soccer. Soccer was my passion, and I almost played it when I came to uh, Huntington University, but decided that that just wasn't the route for me to go anymore, so... I decided to just focus on my schoolwork and, you know, hopefully get through the schooling to become a nurse someday. Yeah, I know there's no way I could ever become a nurse because there's too much memorization in that. (laughs) So kudos to you and all of our other nursing majors. Thank you. (laughs) You know, you're a freshman, so how has college been so far? Like, how's the transition been from high school to college? The transition has been pretty rough, actually. Um, I had to get a tutor to help me, you know, transition from the high school, you know, testing styles to the college testing styles. So I say that's probably my um, the hardest thing that's been for me for college. Um, I've really enjoyed um, spending time with new people, getting to know new people, having new relationships. Um, I love everybody here. Everybody is just so involved in their churches, and I love just the Christian environment that I'm in, and I know that this is just the best place for me. So so I know because you were one of the winners for um, Forster Radio Cares that we did. Mm-hmm. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Forster Radio Cares, uh, we kind of set that up for people who have had a rough semester um, here at Huntington and who just needs some encouragement. Uh, and so we give them a gift basket. And so, yeah, Cece, I, I know because, like I said, we, we picked you. Um, but tell us a little bit about, you know, really why this semester has been tough for you. Well, at the beginning of the semester, um, it was literally like the first week of school. My mom um, was very, very sick. She It started off kind of she was just feeling a little bit under the weather. She thought it was maybe just a stomach bug. But um, after a couple of days, she noticed that it got, you know, increasingly worse. And um, she decided to go into the ER. And I didn't even know she was in the ER until like a day after she had gotten there. And I called them on the phone to let them know how my week was. And um, my mom just informed me, you know, I'm in the ER. And so I got kind of worried and, you know, I just, it was kind of hard. It um, kind of tore me up a little bit just because um, I didn't like being away from home, even though I was only 30 minutes away from home, but um, it just was hard being away from them. She told me that she has some kind of, she had some kind of viral infection and Um, They couldn't put a name on it. First, they thought it was uh, meningitis, and um, at some point, her test came back negative for meningitis. So it was just a um, hard time for them trying to figure out what she had, and at one point, she came home from the hospital. It was for about a week she was home from the hospital, and then um, she uh, started kind of panicking a little bit because she wasn't getting better, and she actually wasn't eating so she started to have a little bit of a panic attack so I got a call from her and she was you know kind of um just kind of freaking out over the phone so she told me to come home be with my sister and we took her to the ER well actually she had an ambulance come to the house and take her to the ER and we all followed her there Um, When we got there, she was just very high strong and kind of wasn't looking very good. And um, it turned out that she just was low on all like her calcium and all that kind of stuff. So that um, then the doctors just decided to, you know, pump her full of her fluids. And so basically she did good after that point. Um, Things started going up for her. But 
I'd say that that was probably a really uh, bad point for me because, you know, I actually had a test the next day and I wasn't going to study for a test. So I was going to be with my mom. So I failed that test. So then I decided to get a tutor and that helped me a lot. But um, yeah, that was probably a hard point in my first college experience. I mean, nobody really wants to have a family member sick when they're starting college, but um, things worked out for the best and we all prayed for her and God really came through with that. So so you said that you had to go home and take care of your little sister. How, how old is your sister? She is 14, but my mom, being in that situation, she my mom was nervous that, you know, she would, like, pass out or something, and my sister would be there alone with her, and she wouldn't know what to do. So she said, can you please just come home? Um, I'm really nervous for her, and I want her to be okay. So I rushed home and was there with her until the ambulance came to pick up my mom. So. Did you kind of feel like the parent in that situation a little bit, trying to comfort your sister? Yeah, um, she actually did amazing through the whole experience. Like, I would have, I was freaking out just being here. And she was on the phone. She was calm with me. Hmm. And it wasn't until my mom left in the ambulance that she just broke down and, you know, started crying. And, you know, that was just a really hard time for me because I was already stressed about, you know, schoolwork and trying to comfort her and my mom and my dad and um, my dad sh- eventually showed up and comforted both of us so it it turned out to be um, a good moment for us but um, obviously not a great situation but we were all there to support each other and I was glad that I you know went home to help out with my family so so what kind of emotions did you feel during that time? I mean, I'm sure you felt so many different emotions with school and also with what was going on with your mom. I actually, just because of being away, I didn't really know like what was really going on. So the whole way home, I was just terrified. I was bawling my eyes out and just terrified. And I don't think I've ever felt that way really before because my family, we have been truly blessed with not nobody being really sick in our family. So, um, yeah, that ride home was pretty tough. I prayed the entire way. I turned off all my music, and it was just silent in my car. And I just prayed and prayed and told God to please, you know, make sure everything's all right with her and um, to start healing her as soon as he can because, you know, she's my mom and she's my best friend. She really is. And, um, yeah, I love her with all my heart and... I'm sad that that had to happen in our lives, but everything's great now, so. Do you think it would have been easier if you were in high school still and that would have went on? Probably, because I probably would have been home to take care of her more. Um, I don't think that there, when my mom's sick, she kind of shuts down a little bit and she doesn't really want us to know that, like, she's not doing very well. Um, She kind of hides out in her room or something because... At one point, she had pneumonia, and I didn't even know the severity of her pneumonia a while back, Um, but because she was constantly in her room and everything, but yeah, I think that she probably would have hid it from us, honestly, because she she does not like to show her weaknesses around me and my sister because she doesn't want us to worry. Um, That's one thing I respect the most out of my mom. I love her so much. She is such a strong woman, and... Um, I think it would have been better if I was home in in high school. It probably would have been less stressful. Um, but still, I mean, the things happen for a reason, and we've all learned valuable lessons from it. And we thank God every day that nothing worse had happened with her with through that. So, so through all of this, you had to have some help. I'm guessing just with, you know, crying on somebody's shoulder or you know, just different things like that. So who would you say has helped you the most through all of this? Probably my friend, Molly Burton. (laughs) She, she is one of my best friends. She, um, she's actually my roommate. Um, she was actually in the room whenever I received the call from my mom and I just broke down and started bawling my eyes out and she gave me a hug and she just was like, it's okay. You'll be okay. Just sit, stay calm and travel safely. They'll be okay. I'm sure she'll be fine. And she said that she'll pray. And she she actually went to her family, I guess, and um, 
you know, told her family about it, and they said that they prayed for me and for my family, and that was great to hear, so. What's a couple of things that you've learned during this really hard time in your life? Well, one thing I've learned is that, um, you know, your relationship with God is crucial. You know, you, the one thing that kind of held me together through that whole thing is, you know, praying to God the whole time I was in that car. I just, on my way to see my mom going to the ER, um, the whole time I just prayed and it kind of gave me a sense of, um, relief kind of. Um, I wasn't, I obviously was still very scared, but, um, I still felt some comfort through praying and, um, I'd say that um, going to God about everything is probably what I've learned. Um, I still pray to him all the time and thank him for, um, you know, not letting anything happen to her. Um, I'd say another thing that I learned was to uh, always put your family first. Um, I wish that I would have been there more. I knew she was sick, but I didn't, like I said, she didn't really tell me the severity of it. But I kind of wish that I would have went home more to check up, make sure that she was okay. How can we as a radio station, um, we as listeners, uh, keep you and your family in our prayers? Um, I would say just to pray. um, I would say to pray for us to have strength, you know, through hard times. Um, A lot of us were very worried, obviously, about my mom. Um... And I could see my dad struggling a little bit, and um, he didn't like the situation. So I would say uh, just to pray for strength and um, maybe for God to give us clarity through times like that. Definitely. Well, Cece, thank you very much for uh, joining me here on Rooted today. Thank you for having me. And thank you for listening, everybody. Make sure that you subscribe to Rooted on iTunes and Google Play, also on Spotify. And remember, you can always listen to Forster Radio over the air in Huntington on 105.5 WQHU or stream us anytime, anywhere on the Radio FX app. Stay rooted, HU.